I'm Gwyneth Packard, and I'm a senior engineer at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Um, it's funny, it was an accident, uh, and that is actually true. A lot of the people that I talked to around the oceanographic, um, there, at the time, there were no undergraduate uh, programs for oceanography, and so I actually didn't find out about oceanography until January of my senior year of college. I was a physics major, um, also doing a lot of astronomy and math, and I... Uh, I had to sign up, um, you had to check a box saying, I plan to graduate in the spring. And I checked the box and the registrar's office wrote back that I couldn't graduate unless I took another science course, not related to any of my majors. And there was a class called Man and the Sea, an introduction to oceanography. And I, I naively thought this will be great. It'll be pictures of Jacques Cousteau. It'll be like videos of colorful fish. I can do this. and. I went and a third of the class was on biology, but a third of the class was on the physics of the ocean. And a third of the class was on geology uh, of the ocean. So ocean floor, uh, anyway, I was sold. And I went to my professor and I had to go to my professor, right? Because like I said, this was a freshman survey class. There were hundreds of people. I would never have talked to him if I hadn't gone up on purpose and I said this is what I want to do how do I get more of this and he said there's this little place up in um, Massachusetts that has an internship I can recommend you and he did and I showed up for a 12-week internship in 1991 and I'm still here after I had spent about 10 years doing physical oceanography so ocean circulation and um, convection problems deep water formation I found that I was really interested in writing the tools I needed to analyze my data. And I went back to school for some computer science. And then I went out into industry for about seven years. And then I was invited back to the oceanographic to work on programming autonomous underwater vehicles for ocean exploration. So it's sort of a combination of my first two careers. I was now programming uh, a robot that would carry sensors I used to use to measure the ocean. But now um, I was working on how to make this um, vehicle autonomous for uh, solving the problems that um, in multiple disciplines, not just in physical oceanography, but biological oceanography, chemical oceanography, um, stuff for the Navy, stuff for, for industry. The most important thing is to be curious and don't let anyone destroy your curiosity. So ask questions, ask lots of questions, because a lot of the time, even for me now, but I remember even back in school, um, maybe you ask a question and somebody says, oh, no, don't worry about that, or oh, that won't be on the test, you won't need that, or worse, you know, somebody you care about says, who cares? And I find that, um, you know, that, that can be kind of crushing. And as it squelches, it squelches your, your creativity, it squelches your, um, your, your will to look at the problems, let alone try to solve them. And so stay curious, don't let anyone um, destroy that for you because we do care, we care and that's really cool. And we all care about different things, but like find your thing, stay curious and um, find other people who care. Um, you know, the first reason that people don't, uh, doesn't get a lot of buy-in, but um, it's the right thing to do. But beyond that, it's not extra credit or charity. Diverse teams outperform homogeneous teams in creativity, in problem solving, in profitability and efficiency. And it is true across the board, the data show it article after article, study after study, if the diverse teams value the input of all of the diverse voices on the team. So again, this comes back to supporting each other. You know, um, it all breaks down if you've got a diverse team and people don't feel like they can voice their opinion or ask their question. Um, but if you have a diverse team um, and people are encouraged to contribute, then diverse teams are better at problem solving.